swear, any woman who has been divorced, in that year, you know, you have red flags if it's not going to work. I did. You know, it was just always instances where I just knew that this wasn't going to work out for me, right? So I had to figure out how to change without losing everything. Just when we thought that Jeezy and Jeannie May's divorce couldn't possibly get messier, Jeannie's brother just stepped into the situation and he is dragging Jeezy for lying about the reason he filed for divorce. Her brother just exposed Jeezy for spinning stories in the media to paint Jeannie as the villain in the divorce and y'all won't believe the receipts that he came with. Y'all better hold on tight, it's about to be one wild ride. Hi there, Jeannie May. They broke up because it was alleged that they couldn't agree on certain things when it comes to family values and expectations. Y'all, this Jeannie Mae and Jeezy saga just keeps getting crazier every time we dig into it. In case you haven't been keeping up, it's been a little over two weeks since we found out that rapper Young Jeezy blindsided his wife, Jeannie Mae, with divorce papers. Well, the drama just got wilder because Jeannie's brother just jumped into the conversation to drag Jeezy and expose him for lying about the reason he filed for divorce, and it looks like things are starting to get out of hand. Now, we've seen our fair share of celebrity breakups over the past couple of weeks, but honestly, that's kind of normal in Hollywood because celebrities Celeb marriages only last for like five business days. But what sets Jeannie and Jeezy apart is the fact that they don't seem to be on the same page about the divorce. Child, they ain't even in the same book, not to talk about being on the same page. I mean, Jeannie doesn't even want a divorce and sources have revealed that she is fighting to save her marriage, but we'll dive into that in just a moment. I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda obvious that the divorce was gonna be messy AF. I mean, Jeezy blindsided Jeannie with divorce papers about two weeks ago, but leaked documents tell us he actually filed for this way back in June. He had spent months covering himself legally, getting the divorce papers signed and notarized and all that stuff. Meanwhile, he had Jeannie out here singing his praises on social media, talking about how he was a great husband and everything. This didn't sit well with the internet, which is understandable. I mean, it's not cool to leave your partner hanging like that, especially when Jeannie didn't even want to get married in the first place. But then, things took a turn when Tamar Braxton, who used to co-host with Jeannie on The Real, dropped her two cents on this drama and suggested that Jeannie did something foul to Jeezy for him to have treated her this way. Let me tell you something. When y'all file for divorce, it's over. Yeah, because usually guys yeah. don't yeah, strike first. Yeah, y'all not emotional like that. Nah, yeah. so yeah. whatever oh, it was. So what could it have been? Right. There's two reasons why a man leaves his wife or files for divorce. Number one is another woman pushing him to do it, okay? Or number two is something real foul went down. If you think that that was in love, I feel so bad for her. Tamar definitely added more fuel to the fire because the rumor mill went into overdrive after she made that statement. Rumors started circulating about Jeannie possibly being involved with Mario Lopez, her co-host. People started speculating that this might be the reason why Jeezy decided to be petty and surprise her with divorce papers. There were even reports that Jeezy stumbled upon some flirty and uh, interesting text messages exchanged between Jeannie and Mario, and that's supposedly what pushed him to pull the plug on their marriage. Now, this gossip wasn't exactly a stretch considering folks have been talking for a while about the chemistry between Jeannie and Mario and how they were kind of flirty with each other. Hi, I'm with my girl, Jeannie Mai. First day at the job, guys. A <laughs> proud uh, Vietnamese girl. We're both yes. first generation. I'm gonna have her hook me up with some uh, Vietnamese. People kept talking about how the situation was shaping up to be another TJ Holmes and Amy Robach, and y'all know how that ended. Things were also worse because Jeannie herself has admitted to preferring white men to black men. I loved black guys. Yeah. 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 I did, I did. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I, I married white men. That's what I like. It wasn't hard for people to believe that she had been cheating on Jeezy with Mario because that would explain why Jeezy would act out the way he did and serve her papers. But then, the story got wilder when sources from Jeezy's camp claimed that the reason he had filed for divorce was that he realized that he and Jeannie had different family values. The source said, Jeezy and Jeannie Mae's pending divorce stems from different views. They weren't on the same page when it came to certain family values and expectations. They had different views and each felt like their needs weren't being completely met. Truth be told, it wouldn't be all that surprising given the different backgrounds Jeannie and Jeezy come from. Jeannie has Vietnamese roots while Jeezy's African American, so it kind of goes without saying that having two very different backgrounds like that is bound to stir up some trouble. But that's not all, because we need to talk about the family dynamics that were in play in the marriage. For those who don't know, Jeannie's mom and her brother moved in with her and Jeezy shortly after they got married and have been living with them. And according to sources, living with Jeannie's mom isn't exactly a walk in the park. Both Jeannie and her mom are known for their hot tempers and she's been honest about it, even talking about it on the Shan Booty podcast. For example, I have a really hot temper. Not a lot of people know this, but it's just something in my family. I've seen it in my grandmother, I'm sorry, I saw it in my grandfather, to my grandmother, to my mom, to my aunts, 
to me. Can you even imagine the household dynamics with all those strong personalities? To be fair to Jeannie, she's been making an effort to work on her temper and do better, but in the meantime, Jeezy had to live with not one, but two hot-tempered women. And insiders even claim that Jeannie's mom had a habit of sticking herself in Jeannie's marriage, and Jeezy didn't really like this. They've also had their fair share of disagreements over parenting. For example, Jeannie insists on walking their daughter to school even though Jeezy isn't comfortable about this and wants her to stop for security concerns. It's just one of the many small fights they've had over the years. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to defend Jeezy or anything because he was hella wrong for filing for divorce out of the blue and not having a conversation with Jeannie about it. It was a low blow and he has a lot of explaining to do. And while we're talking about Jeezy being wrong, can we talk about the fact that Jeannie's brother just exposed him for lying about the cause of the divorce? Y'all know how he had his people tell E.T. that they were not on the same page and had different family values? Well, Jeannie's brother is now coming out to claim that Jeezy is lying about that because he never had an issue with Jeannie's family. Her brother also pointed out how he went to the Sways podcast where he claimed to love the family dynamic that he and Jeannie had. I, 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 I love my family, man. Yeah. I, love, I love our dynamic. I love the way we rock. I love how we people don't understand it because it ain't for them to understand. Mm -hmm. You know just as well as I know. Like, my wife from the Bay, so I don't know why people get it misconstrued. This was just a month before he filed for divorce, and he even praised the close relationship that she had with her mom and siblings and claimed that it inspired him to fix the broken relationship that he had with his own father. From what we know, of that's, that's the only structure of a family I've ever seen. You know, people sitting down wow. having dinner and you know, conversing and, you know, cleaning up the kitchen together, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never seen that, mm. right? And, and culturally, um, her family, they're, they're really tight, you know what I'm saying? And they really do a lot of things together, which makes um, it easier for me to do things with my family. Jeannie's brother believes that Jeezy is just trying to throw the entire family under the bus because he doesn't really have a solid reason for the divorce. The brother pointed out how Jeezy was basically declaring his undying love for her family, but all of a sudden he's trying to paint them as the villains in the story to protect himself. He also pointed out the fact that Jeezy had the interview last month, but he filed for divorce way back in June, which was months before the interview. So if he had no issues with Jeannie's family and her family values in August, why was it a reason for the divorce in June? I'm not gonna lie, he's kinda making some solid points, and like I said, before, Jeezy has a lot of explaining to do. However, according to sources, Jeannie is contesting the divorce because she's not ready to pull the plug on her marriage just yet. An insider spoke to Page Six and said, Jeannie Mae is devastated that her marriage is over and wants her family unit back. The truth is, Jeannie wants her marriage to work and wants her family to be one solid unit. She is devastated that Jeezy filed for divorce. Jeannie deeply loves Jeezy and she wants to work things out. She did not get married to get divorced. This was not a part of the plan. This kind of adds up because after her first divorce, Jeannie claimed that she never wanted to get married again because she didn't want to go through another divorce ever again. The source also said, this is not how she ever imagined things will go down. Even though Jeezy has filed, Jeannie is holding out hope that he will be willing to sit down and work things out. She is hoping for a resolution and wants to remain as a united family unit. So Jeannie is still holding on to hope that she can save her marriage if she could only get Jeezy to sit down and talk to her. She desperately wants to save the marriage and I just hope that she and Jeezy manage to sort things out in a healthy way for their daughter's sake. Fans left comments saying, if you aren't used to having a close family dynamic, as admirable it is, it can be overwhelming. And if you have poor conflict resolution skills, walking always appears to be a lot easier than staying and working out those differences. Most new marriages do not start off with a mother-in-law and brother living with a new couple. Living arrangements can become stressful if there are too many in the household. You're not giving the new couple time to work things out for their household for themselves because you've added more people to the household. I've never been married, but I feel like moving in family at the start of your marriage is not a good idea. Her mom seems like a lot to deal with every single day. So do you guys think Jeannie's brother was right about Jeezy lying? Or do you think that he's just trying to defend his sister? Drop your thoughts in the comments and then check out this next video.